Well, today we have a Craftsman LT2000 20 horse. It's not really a Craftsman. If you look at the model plate, it's MTD because it starts with 247. And this is a 2010 model. And I'm going to pull a deck off because it's missing a wheel. It needs to be welded. It's all tore up. And it needs parts. There were some good looking blades. Real good looking blades. And the chute deflector's broke. So to get this deck off, you have one clip here, right there. Here's a clip. And you have a clip up front. And we go around back. Or not around back, to the other side. And you've got another clip right there. Which has got a rod going through it. And then when you pull it out, you unhook the uh, PTO cable. And there's another problem. That's where the deck is. That's what sand does, my friends. So anyways, we're going to get started on pulling these uh, spring clips out. This back one here can be tricky. Um, Alright, so to get this spring clip out, you see how it's all wavy and funny looking. It's not like your average spring clip. Take a screwdriver and you put it right in the, in the center here. And you twist the screwdriver until it pops out. This is a little rusty under here, so that's why. It can be a little tricky, but you just twist the screwdriver right on that little ridge and get right up under here. It will pop out. There it went. I don't know where it went. But this just pops right out, or it should. It's a tight area under here. So if persuasion do not help, just pick a deck up and it pops right off. And this should pop right off. Yeah, that's free. All right, so we're at the other side where there's another spring clip. This one here is a little bit different, a little bit trickier. But as you see, that one's really down in there. So in order to get that one out, it's going to take a little bit more to get that out. Sometimes you have to use bolt cutters. Other times you can just work it up. There it comes. Right, let me get this clip out. So as you can see, I got the uh, spring clip out. It's all bent up and messed up looking. So now we get this bracket out and it just pops out, just like so. And now we go to the front. Now there's the front bracket pin. I'll go ahead and pull that from the other side so you all can see it. That one there shouldn't be any trouble. So this front front pin is also a spring clip. It's the same concept of the back spring. And of course we got to get our belt off, which that's a whole nother story. That belt's hard to get off. Alright, so we got all that off. Next we got to get the belt off. That can be a little bit tricky. Just a little bit. In order to get this belt off, we're just going to slip it off the pulley like that. Once you slip it off the pulley, you got to pull it through. Alright, let me go to the other side and do it, but you all will still be able to see what I'm doing. So kind of pulled the belt a little. Now we got the belt off. Now we'll pull the deck off and we'll get the uh, cable out. Alright, excuse my poor camera angles. It's very bright out here. So we're going to pull the deck out now. But first off, you want to lift the uh, levers up. Alright, so after you get the brackets out of the way, clamp onto the edge here. And you should be able to pull it right out. Unless the uh, bracket or something else is in this case, nothing's holding it but the engagement cable, which this little thing right here is the engagement cable. But you got to take that off, and it's just a regular standard spring clip. You can take a pair of pliers, you just kind of wiggle it out of there, 
Actually, this is a another weird looking clip if you can't see, but I didn't know that. That sucker's in in there. I'll fix that. I'm getting all new clips to put back in here because, like I said, someone's had this off before. That's what that clip should not look like. I'm going to get this slack off the cable so I'm going to push the deck back a little. There we go. So that's how you get the cable out. Then you unhook the spring. Alright, so here's what you got to do to get this aggravating spring out. So you got to push the cable under this bar right here, which you can see this bar. You really can't get a good view, I do apologize. Then once that cable's all the way over, you pick it up and unhook it. And then, you have to pull it through this groove right there. That's how you get that cable out. Sorry I couldn't really show exactly how. This cable's broken anyway. Okay, so when you go to pull a deck out on these MTDs, there's these bars right here, these hanger bars. They can get in the way. They can really get in the way. There is a trick that you can do on these hanger bars. In order for me to do this, I gotta lay on the wet ground. Because you take your hanger rod and do that. Take the rod and you do exactly that and that keeps the hanger bracket out of the way on the discharge side. And then you can pull the deck out with no problem. Alright, so here's the deck. We got a hole here. We got a hole there. And uh, like I was saying, this is where the cable hooks in right here. So what do we have here? We have two blades that have seen way better days. We got a whole half of the deck missing. We got a wheel missing. That wheel's been welded on before. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Over and out.